hello welcome back to NX tutorial so in this video tutorial we will explain how to create flange from base tab and my corner where all flange meet each other at the corner for the tutorial goal in this example we will learn how to use contour flange feature with a corner setting in here we have a corner setting and how to create sketch profile with rapid dimension in here we have an example a tab or a sheet metal with a thickness 0 0.8 millimeters let's check again about the global value go to menu preferences sheet metal the global parameters for the material thickness is same 0 0.8 millimeters now in this tutorial we're going to create a contour flank so click this contour flank in here in the section we're going to create a section in here So we're going to click sketch section. In here we have select path. Click on the edge location in here. I notice we have the percentage of the arc length in here. Okay. Make sure it's at the zero or at the end of the edges itself and notice the X direction in here and we also get the Z a a direction is going into this like along these edges so if you don't have uh, or you don't get any a uh, proper a direction in the Z a direction you can use this one for example this one so make sure the plus Z a direction is along its edges next we're gonna create a sketch you can use this one a profile using a line a profile Use separate dimension to create exact dimension. For example, in this case, I'm going to use about 18 millimeters. And also for this vertical side, I'm going to use about 50 millimeters. Okay. Finish. Now NX create the preview as you can see in here we create a band we create a profile for example in here and there's uh, some materials being cut out now in here in the width option there's an option a finite symmetric to end a chain in this case we use a finite with the with length we can adjust but also we can use chain so we can if we click chain select edge it's gonna create along this edge but for example if we want to change for example we use face edges we click this face so it will create along the edges as you can see in here it's highlight in orange color you notice in here okay now we're gonna make some experiment for example 
in here we apply a cross corner and see the difference let's check in here okay notice the difference right close corner the treatment is open now the treatment is closed circle a cut out you can use also you a cut out or we can use a V a cut out let's say in this tutorial we're gonna use a circle a cut out okay. now we also going to activate a mitre corner You can see the difference differences in here so if we uncheck it will not be created if we check meta corner it will create like this next in the origin we still keep using the band a center okay, and using also the band a mitre in here notice the differences let's change the value become 3 and for the offset let's say we input 3 millimeters now you can see by default if we create offset then NX will create some kind of additional hole in here same as like the other edges So let's go into the, the corner setting. In the flash clearance, and the value 3. And for the gap, we also input value 3. Now notice the differences. We are now creating a gap. So it's going to be like this. And open 3 millimeters in here and 3 millimeters in here. let's observe the other edges the shape is same okay so now we are finished and then you can click click ok so that's it how to create a contour flank with all its feature and how to create a mitre for all the edges and make a good or smooth a connection between one edges to another.